So what is going on guys, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at Triple Weak Vault deck. So this is the um, Triple Weak Vault deck um, that I decided to build, have some fun with it, test it out and see how good it is. So we have three Weak Vaults, the first one is the Stealthy Body Weak Vault which says that if, if there is any stadium card in play, Weak Vault have no weakness, this one. Uh, with Electric Cannon, uh, Electric Cannon, uh, we can swing for 120 for three lightings and one colors energy. And in order to do that, um, we need to pay heavy, uh, expensive um, energy cost. But for non GX attacker, if we discard all lighting energies from this Pokemon, then we can swing for 220. With Electro well, Electro Power and Choice Bin damage can be significantly increased. Um, other than that, with Strong Charge Recovolt, uh, we have options to even use that Electric Cannon with Triple Acceleration Energy and Lightning Energy, swing for 150, and also get that extra, uh, extra Energy Acceleration with the Strong Charge. And the last Recovolt is the Recovolt GX with 240 HB, with Charge Beam, Super Zap Cannon, and Gigatron GX. I kind of like the Super Zap Cannon because we can hit for 180 with one Lighting and Triple Acceleration Energy. So in theory, we can have Recovolt with a Strong Charge at the bench, and then we can simply play um, Strong Charge, attach Triple Acceleration Energy for the Super Zap Cannon, swing for 180, 210, 240, 270 with Electric Power, depends and pretty much one hit knockout anything. Um, there's even a cherry a cherry bug, I call it cherry with the battery, battery ability, which says that uh, once per turn, if we have weak vault in play or GX weak vault, we can attach cherry bug as a special energy card to uh, weak vault or weak vault GX, and that special energy will provide us with two extra lighting energies. Four grabbings with electrical signal, which is also very, very good. Uh, tech as well as one copy of the Dean with the D charge, one Tapu Koko with the Dance of the Ancients, um, one Tapu Koko GX with the Aero Trail, and then three Jirachis and one Mew with that Bench Barrier. Moving on to the item cards, not too many space, unfortunately, very, very short on the resources there. Only four copies of Ultra Ball because I decided to gave more um, opportunity to Cynthia and Lily so I can have much um, consistent draw support available. So only four Ultra Ball uh, cards, nothing else in addition to that. Um, Electromagnetic Raider should be very good, um, very, very good in my opinion. Um, tech card for this build. Uh, four copies of Electro Power, four copies of Rare Candy, one of each, Rescue Stretcher, Switch, and Thunder Mountain as a tech, as well as two of each, Choice Bend and Escape Ports. Um, speak about energies, 10 energies, 4 triple and uh, 6 uh, lighting energies. Again, uh, 3 cherries can also serve us as a 3 extra uh, energy attachments. 8 draw supporters, 4 Cynthia's and 4 Lilies, uh, 2 Guzmas and 1 copy of Wickawalt. And this is the deck list that I'm going to use in today's video. I hope you guys are going to like this video, so make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel for more future videos. So let's move on to the game test so you can see this deck in action, so see you in the game. Alright, so let's take the battle with the Wickawalt deck and see um, how good we can get. Yesterday video, um, I didn't want to give up until the end, and I actually won the game because my opponent ran out of the ran of the ran out of the resources. He didn't have Guzma. He played all three Guzmas, and I was in the active position with my um, Hunkro GX, and my opponent was not able to play double cores energy from his hand because of my Hunkro GX ability, so he was not able to retreat and pay the retreat cost. So, never give up is the motto here. I guess I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna play probably one Ultra Ball for Cherry Bug and it should be Electro Power. I'm not gonna need it probably in this matchup. Quickly for one Jirachi. And I will first try to play Lily. Maybe I get lucky with a switch. Um, of course, I'm not gonna get lucky with a switch. It's just me. I guess. Um, so I wish into rare candy. And this looks like um, done for now. Mm, pretty much, I am. Pretty much, I am. So, two Grabbins on the bench, ready for that um, weak vault. 
stealthy body with electric cannon electric cannon electric cannon yeah it is cannon at the end and it's electric in the front anyways um turtonator with explosive jet it can hit for a lot of damage it can hit for a lot of damage it might just be a part of the deck or it might just be a pure turtonator deck um, it's really hard to tell from just um, this and actually it's just a part of the deck it is a Reshizard on the other side of the field so it's gonna be really interesting to see Reshizard versus Wikavolt we both have abilities to go for the one hit knockout um, but in order for me to hit for the one hit knockout I'm gonna need to discard all of my lighting energies from my Wikavolt and then I'm hitting for 220 with Electro Power 250 and then that damage can be slightly increased by a, li a little bit more by adding Electro Power as well Okay, my top deck is Triple Acceleration Energy, which unfortunately cannot be used. Um, a Skateboard, very nice, very nice to be honest, very, very nice. And this is not the weak world I was looking for, I need to be completely honest here. So I'm gonna play Cynthia and hope to find another Jirachi for another Stellar Wish. Which is not going to be the case, but at least I can Ultra Ball into another one. Um, I can Ultra Ball into another one. Or I can simply just evolve. Why I can't evolve? Is there a glitch or something? Because I put this grabbing turn before in play. Oh, play as in Wolf. Okay, that makes sense. I'm still thinking is it worth actually to go for another Jirachi here or not? Because I'm gonna run out of the skateboard anyways. So, oh, I, al I almost retreated on the Mew. Energy needs to be placed somewhere, so that's that's correct. We're gonna go at least with the energy attachment. And I'm gonna pass the turn. I will try to set knockout next turn somehow versus that Regizard. I hope that my opponent don't have chance to play Guzma. Speaking about Guzma. Just like that, he threw one from his hand. Alright, I mean, it's okay, it's still not the end of the world, because right now with the weak of all GX I can surprise my opponent back. I just need correct amount of the cards. So, Electro Power, we're gonna go with a Stellar Wish into the Lily in this case. Right. Ultra Ball for something like these two cards and I'm still thinking is it better to go for Tapu Koko or maybe I can even grab that the Dean and take the complete risk here so with the rescue stretcher I can play ability and if I get lucky with a triple acceleration that's all I'm gonna need all right we're gonna try to do that But still, I'm gonna need a lot of resources there. That's for sure. What? Wait, what? Once every good turn, you might attach to your Wikavolt. Okay, damn it. It needs to be Wikavolt. Oh, luckily, there it is. Okay, so I did play how many Electro Powers? Um, I think one. I think one. Yeah, I played only one. So right now, I can play Battery. Plus triple acceleration, plus the Dean, in order to find um, choice bent and maybe a couple more electric powers. Well, it was very close, but not enough, unfortunately. So 180 to 10 to 40. So I'm going for like 240, right? Oh, damn it. So I'm short for literally one electric power. Um, but okay. One electric power short 
Triple acceleration energy can be discarded. Uh, if there was um, another electro power, that would be amazing play, literally. I would smash my opponent, Rashi's Art, and drop three price cards. And next turn, I'm gonna need to find a way to do that. This might even be Retreat and knock it with a Turtonator. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Um, or even better, Switch. Or, huh, yeah, he can even go with Double Blaze GX. I mean, he needs to go with a Double Blaze GX because if he don't have um, Choice Bend, then Rashi's Art can't knock me out. Actually, Rashi's Art can knock me out with the Outrage. Why in the world would you just waste your energies for that double plays GX? It makes just no sense. Um, he actually made a huge misplay um, there, because if he powered up that Turtonator for the following turn, he would be in a much better position. Anyways, probably he knows the best, double plays GX, he really wanted to use that GX, I mean, he could just hit for 270 with the Outrage. I don't know what was on his mind, but it's okay, it's good for me, I guess. And we're gonna go with a Cynthia in this case. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find Ultra Ball here with my um, Stellar Wish. I'm like 99 sure that I will miss that Ultra Ball, so let's just go with a Cynthia. That's really interesting. This is the only weak wall that can actually attack right now. Seriously, this is the only one. Um, strong charge for dead lighting energy, and then I can just go with my triple acceleration energy. And this should be enough for the knockout before that. Stellar Wish into D. I'm drawing three price cards, so I feel confident that I'm gonna need something like a Thunder Mountain maybe for the next turn. Maybe not. We shall see. Alright, so Electric Cannon. Now, as you can see, this is Electric Cannon, which is just, you know, two words. And on another week of Vault, we have Electric Cannon. Okay, Electri and Electro. Whatever, I guess. Alright, so one welder works fine for my opponent because I have 150. Um, even if I have 200, one welder and attachment from him should work perfect. Um, but maybe he don't have welder. I hope he don't have welder so I can at least try to win this game. Because if he had welder for the knockout, then I think that's pretty much it. There's not gonna be... Okay, there's a fire crystal, so something tells me that he should have welder available in his hand. There's literally nothing that can be done from my side of the field, because I don't even have grabbing available on the bench, neither rescue stretcher to recycle them back, neither my um, draw supporter, and not even uh, energy on the field. So I can potentially try to do something out with the Tapu Koko. Explosive Jet, two energies from Terminator, one from Tapu Lele, probably. I might be completely wrong, but I'm expecting to see that. All right, as expected. Down to two. All right, so yeah, I mean, one Electro Power was all I needed, and I simply couldn't get it. I can still attack with my Dadeen. Um... Well, I guess this, that's better than nothing, right? Um, let's see what we can find with the Cynthia. Huh. Damn it. Damn it. Not something I was hoping for. And what if I discard this weak vault and as well as that cherry bug? Huh. And how many rare candies? Okay, so we're gonna go with the rare candy discardment. And we called for grabbing. It's a very risky play. Seriously, it is a very risky play. Um, yeah, I could have knockout if I just took that top of Coco out. Yeah, literally, I can still do that. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, I can't. Yeah, if I only do that, a whole different story would happen.
right, never mind. Mistakes are done. I can at least put back my the DNA into my hand, so it's not a bad option actually when I think twice. It's not that bad action. It it's much better if I just decide to go with the Ultra Ball for that Tapu Coco and get energies in play for my Tapu Coco GX. So I could air a trail for the knockout and then move down to two price cards and then potentially try to, you know, maybe get Guzma for the win versus Tapu Lele GX. Or maybe even there. Okay, there's another Reshi's art, which might be. Hmm. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Once again, this game can still be went into my favor. There's Kiavi, so if he have Guzma available for the following turn, this is it. But if I can actually get a Guzma from my side of the field, and I'm running only two Guzmas, and how many Guzmas did I play? Only one. Then I can even win this game. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, should I go for the Guzma? Should I go for the Guzma? That is an absolute good question. Okay, it doesn't matter who's gonna get energies at all. So I think this is this might be it. Think this might be it? No, it's not gonna be it because I played my GX. When did I play my GX? Wait a second. When did I play my GX attack? But seriously. Wait, when did I play my GX? Oh, with the Dean. Oh, what a face plan. Yeah, with the Dean I played my GX. Then I'm gonna go with a Walkner. Um, I have that Guzma available for the following turn, at least. Okay, as long as he don't have... As long as my opponent don't have... Well, there's a lily. I can use it as well. So I wish into Ultra Ball. As long as he don't have... Um... So I'm hitting for how many? 220. 3 electric powers and 2 choice bins. And again, I'm gonna be short. Okay, my target is... Yeah, top lily. Not worth... Can't actually win if I attack top Layla. Ah, oh, what a horrible misplay. The problem is that 270, if I only didn't play that Electro Power this turn, I could swing for like enough damage to win. And then again there is a Guzma play for that cherry bug and that is the knockout and that is the GG with the flare strike. Ah, damn it. Out of the resource. Stellar Wish. So there's like a Guzma. There's like um, there's like another still wish, but it doesn't matter anyways. There's nothing that I can actually grab with that still wish, and I'm even short for like energy. Uh, 
Alright, we're gonna play Dead the Dean and deck out. Alright, that's it. Well played. But still, he had Guzma in his hand anyway, so. It wouldn't matter too much, because even if I have option to power up that weak vault and set him up and play, Rush's Art would just knock him out anyways, and um, that would be it. Pretty much standard Rush's Art list with the Dean and triple Rush's Art with two Mars Shadows actually, and Terminator as a tech. 13 energies, and yeah, that's it. That's the GG. Alright, so. Back with the game number two, this deck actually has potential, but that game number one was not the best, not the worst. A couple mistakes, a couple misplays, and um, yeah, it's yeah, it is how it is, you know. When you have so many options and so many um, different outputs and ways to play, and so many different um, attackers. There's a good chance that you will made a mistake. Oh, Tampu Koku with the fly flip and the Shrine of Punishment. So I guess I'm gonna need to set as fast as possible Mew in play. Luckily, I have Ultra Ball sitting in ready. Oh boy, oh boy, this doesn't look good. But luckily, there is a Cynthia. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with the energy attachment. One Ultra Ball play. And I'm not gonna need that Electro Power. I, I'm like 99% positive in that. Other than that, there is a Mew with the Bench Barrier at least. And one Cynthia. So I can refresh the hand and try to find maybe another Jirachi. And a Skateboard, but unfortunately, short for a Skateboard. It would be an amazing start if there was a skateboard. So there's a Quagsire and a Cynthia from the other side of the field. So right now my opponent can use the uh, washout ability to move energies from the bench to the active. He attached the energy to Articuna. This might even be a retreat to Articuna, I wouldn't be surprised. No, he decided actually rather to pass the turn. All right, what do we can find with the Stellar Wish? Lily? Actually not that bad. Not that bad, still energy can be attached somewhere, um, let's say to this one, and then Lily, and then there is a skateboard, nice, and a Thunder Mountain. So this needs to be another um, Stellar Wish play. Sound like Ultra Bull is the best way to go, but... I'm gonna play my um, Tapu Koko, move two energies, and then swing for 130 with the sky high close. Actually, that Thunder Mountain helped me a lot. So, literally, I can knock my opponent out. He can swing for like um, 70 more energies on the bench. Yeah, he can increase the damage as well with the Shroud of Punishment. So, not a bad play at all. Articuno Quagsire, this might be a very interesting deck, with a lot of potential. Articuno Naganandal Quagsire, this might be a very good deck. Ah, Articuno GX, hmm. So yeah, he can move those energies from my Tapu Koko if he wants. Not quite sure, if I can be completely honest, um, how good this play can actually be. But, he decided to Cold Cycle for 70 instead. And I'm gonna need one extra energy in order to knock this Articuno out. And what do you think about that move? Triple Acceleration energy can actually be performed. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually do that. So, Ultra Ball... For one Wicca Vault, and that Wicca Vault, it's actually going to be a Wicca Vault GX. I personally think this is the best way to go. 
he had weakness, but I can super zap cannon him anyways. And then I can just remove my um, triple acceleration energy and take another prize. Between turns, Shrine will deal some damage, and I managed to draw pretty much the best card that I could have, and it is a Lily. So I literally didn't need anything better than Lily. So there is a Rescue Stretcher immediately. Is it gonna be for... Okay, so he decided to shuffle them back into his deck. There is the Articuno, and we shall see that Ice... We, we're probably gonna see that Cold Crash GX. Something tells me that it is gonna be a Cold Crash GX. It doesn't matter pretty much. I have a lot of resources available. I just play one Triple Acceleration Energy and one Cherry. So, not a big deal. Or this might even be a... Oh, Judge. Alright, so he actually shook me there a little bit with the Judge. But if I get Draw Supporter, it doesn't matter too much. And it's not gonna matter too much. So, Phil Blover. We might see a... Complete tool discardment. Oh, he decided to go for 130 actually. Alright, means that I'm still gonna need still gonna need that triple acceleration energy. This is just a double lighting energy. This cherry bug is just a double um it says it provides two lighting energies. Okay, triple acceleration energy should be enough for the knockout. And other than that, I'm done with that. So there we go. That is a knockout. And I can just remove that triple acceleration energy from my Wickable GX. And I'm down to three price cards, meaning that there is another triple acceleration energy. So I've been awarded by another triple acceleration, even if he can knock me out with his Quaggy, I can try to grab a rare candy with my um, Jirachi, and so far I didn't play a single one, this is a Wim Whismur, alright, whatever, I need to investigate where he can evolve, or what he can do, you can, uh, your opponent can play trainers, you can use this attack only if you go second. Okay, it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. Alright, so what do we need here? A rare candy? There it is. There is the rare candy card. And other than that, I also have that rescue stretcher available. But, what if I throw from my hand something like Guzma and something like Wickowalt? in exchange for that Wickowalt GX, which is unfortunately priced. You gotta be kidding me here. Literally, like, what is going on? Never mind for that. Never mind for that, this is still a GG if I only have a Lighting Energy card in my deck, and of course I have one. Triple Acceleration, we're going to play that Electro Power, and something tells me that I should even shuffle back some of the Pokemons into my deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty dumb, I didn't even check my Discord pile because there was another um, Weak Wall GX, anyways. I'm loaded for 5, I'm going to try to get even more resources and play if it's possible. And it is, and it is. Electro Cannon. Okay, another week of old have electric cannon, and this one have electric cannon, so that's the difference in the attack. Alright, so yeah, I need just literally one more, either way, cherry or um, triple acceleration. There's a huge copycat for seven. Really, really nice copycat play. Ranguru, Tapu Koko, Volcanion, a little bit too late. There's the Aqua Patch. And I'm just gonna need one cherry. Uh, I do have Tapu Koko. I do have Tapu Koko, meaning that I can. Um... Okay, not bad. Thanks for that. Thanks for doing that. I can put my Jirachi in the front. There's Instruct. 
players. Is it, that's the GG, I think. It should be. It should be. I mean, another energy attached to Volcanion. Shrine of Punishment. Doing 10 between turns. Um, we're gonna go with a Tapu Koko Dance of the Ancient. And yeah, he decided to um, concede. Because uh, I didn't even need Cherry or Triple because I had my Tapu Koko. I could attach energy onto my... Um, Wicca Vault and then basically attach from hand and the ability for the knockout. So, Explode. Alright, Dangerous Concert. 80 for 3 energies this deck, that's 32 each of your opponent's benchmark. This is some sort of the damage spread deck, as you can see right here. Um, I like this Wim Wishmer card, not that bad. So, Quicksire, Explode, Orangro, Tampokoko deck. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoy watching this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos, I hope you like this deck idea, really really interesting deck, really fun deck to be played um, in current standard form, but probably gonna be much better post rotation in my opinion, but we shall see. Um, actually post rotation we're not gonna have any more that strong charge weaker vault, but still we will have this weaker vault and yeah, probably we're also gonna lose, yeah we're also losing that weaker vault GX, damn it. Not good for the post rotation, not at all, because we're also going to lose Tampa Coco as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, so have a nice day and goodbye.